Hey makers, this is Thruveen and I welcome you all to Power Apps Model Driven Apps Step by Step series. You are watching 10th episode of this series and in this session I am going to talk about how you can attach your business process flow with Power Apps Model Driven App. Let's talk more about that thing in detail. In my earlier session, we have created our business process flow. We have activated that flow and now it's time to attach that flow with our model driven form that we already created. We will talk more about this thing throughout this entire session. One more important announcement. I launched my own Instagram page where I am uploading different short tips and tricks related power platform. So if you wanted to be a part of my Instagram family, do follow me on my Instagram. The Instagram ID is available here or here or maybe in the description box. Also, one more important thing, as you are watching the 10th episode of this series and you wanted to go through the earlier session as well as future session, visit the description box for all the available links. In future as well, I am planning to extend this model driven app series. So over the period of time, if I launch some new videos, I will post the same link in the description box. So always check description box for the latest information. So without wasting much time, let's attach our business process flow with our model driven app. But before that, here is an intro. In our earlier session, we have designed our business process flow. Now, to taste the business process flow, we need to attach the business process flow into model driven power apps. So let's get started. So this is the flow which we have developed in our earlier session and we have activated that flow. We have built this power automate flow under business process flow. Now it's time to add that power automate flow inside our solution. Let's click on add existing and click on process because we want to attach business process flow. Let's search for employee onboarding business process flow that we have created. So you are able to see this particular business process flow that we just built and activated. Right. So now let's select that and add that business process flow inside our solution. Now one more important thing. You have observed that when I added this process over here, one dataverse table has been created for that business process flow. So whenever you create any business process flow behind the scene, it is creating one dataverse table. Now that dataverse table is something which maintains the stage of your business process flow. Now let's say I just wanted to know that at which stage my flow is at this moment. So how can I get that? I can simply query on my dataverse table and then I will get to know that at this moment, yes, my flow is at this particular stage. So all that information you will find from this dataverse table. So keep that thing in your mind. Now let's attach our business process flow with our model driven app. Now let's just open our model driven app that we created earlier, which is HR onboarding process. And it is showing me this screen. And over here, there is an option business process flow. Click on that. It will show you all the business process flow that is available here. Now just deselect select all. And I just wanted to have only employee onboarding business process flow. So let's just select that only one over here. So one business process flow is attached over here. Now, once you select that business process flow, you are able to see one more entity view has been attached over here and it is looking like this. Now, let's go to our sitemap. and just save our changes. 
Now remember in my earlier session we have created this second area section and where we just added this designation which we actually do not need. Let's remove this one and add one group and add one sub area. From this sub area let's select the entity and from entity now select the name of your business process flow which is employee onboarding business process flow that we have defined. So let's go here. You can see employee onboarding business process flow. So let's select that. Yes and we are good. Now rename this group. Right. Just click on save. Go to the app designer. And now let's save, publish and let's verify the business process flow. And now the magic will come. I am selecting. So this is the employee onboarding form which we already know and we have created in our earlier session. Right? The step by step form. So it is also now applied with our business process flow. And the second thing is let's go here let's click on new from here as well the similar form will open and one more interesting thing that you are able to see here let's click on employee onboarding business process flow so here you can see at which stage your flow is at this moment so this information is clearly visible to you over here right now, uh, if you do not want to go there and if you simply want to open up your older view for employee onboarding, just click on new and your business process flow is already attached with that one, right? So first of all, what happen here is as a HR, you need to fill in some sort of information over here, right? So let me do one thing. Let me just fill in uh, only the employee name over here. So let me just fill over here the information. So I am just adding a uh, simple employee information. Now as a HR I am coming here, clicking here and I am just filling up the different other information that is designation, employee type, full time employee, date of birth, let's add 1995. Let's just provide the email address. Emergency contact information is optional. Manager email. Interview start date. Interview end date. Right. So I filled in every information. Right. I'm clicking on save. As a HR. And now I am just need to click on next stage. So what happened here is my form will go to the next stage and ideally now the next role come into the picture which is IT admin. So let's click on next stage. <clears throat> so it has completed this stage and which was activated for one minute right. Now as a IT admin I came here and I'm just checking my stages. Corporate email for Panash. And there is no such notes. And now, as I did, I mean, I'm storing this thing. And now, let's go to the next stage. So now, let's say uh, we are good at this moment. Uh, as I did, I mean, I'm just saving my work and I'm back here, right? And now, as I admin, let me just check the stage. So you can see that. At this moment, the manager stage is activated because as an IT admin, uh, they have completed that stage and it is in the manager stage at this moment, right? Now, uh, let me go again here. Like as a manager, uh, I do have an access. I am clicking on Panash again and I am over here into this particular stage and I am selecting business unit and project information and just clicking on save. Now 
let's say as a manager i'm just clicking on next stage my work is completed so go here and it is coming to the newly hired employee right so as a new hire employee i can fill in the other different information like this and i'm just finishing everything so my business process has been completed and i'm just clicking on save and close so the entire process for panesh has been completed into 3 minutes and uh, everything has been filled in perfectly for each individual tab as well you can see the filled in information and over here the number of leaves which was auto populated column this date of joining which was also automated everything is perfectly filled in out right so we have configured our entire business process flow with this model driven app so isn't that looking cool because this is something which i have shown you in the first touch that uh, there are some different roles and for each individual role you need to fill in some specific information and your business process is moving across like this then how can you do that so the answer is with business process flow you can manage this entire thing now the question in your mind that yes throwin you are right we have created this business process flow but what about the actual user how that thing is going to work here like uh, hr is able to uh, like how do hr knows that they need to fill in the information how do it admin knows that now it's their turn to take an action on this form so the answer is very simple we need to build one power automate flow on top of this business process flow that let's say for an example whenever any stage is updated like whenever employee as a hr i am clicking on next stage my it admin should receive a notification that now it's your turn to take an action on that and they will provide it with the id so that they can come to this form directly and they just click on here and they can fill that information and click on next stage once it admin click on next manager will receive a notification as an email and when manager click on next new joining will receive a notification and once they finish entire process is completed let's check the email notification from business process flow into my next session till then if you have any question feel free to add your question in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel i am uploading regular content related power bi power automate power virtual agents teams and sharepoint on my channel so make sure that you hit subscribe to never miss any updates from my channel if you are interested for training or consultancy here is the website link click on that go to the contact page and from there send your query to me If you are interested to follow me on all my social media handles here is the link to URL click on that from here you can follow me on all my social media handles if you are interested to never miss any updates follow me on my twitter and insta handle i recommend everyone to follow me on instagram because this is the platform where i am uploading different short videos in form of post reels and igtv on instagram So do follow me on Instagram to never miss any updates from me. If you are interested for audio podcast related power platform, here is the podcast channel. Click on that. From here, you can listen your favorite power platform podcast on different podcast platform like Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Spotify and much more. If you are interested for different short videos related power platform, here is a separate channel called Digital Dravin. subscribe the channel and show your love over there as well with this this is thruvin signing off see you in the next session have a great day goodbye